Hi and welcome to library management system developed using Python. Let me show you guys how this works. Now we have category in there. We can enter our reference number, title, let's say it's a doctor, and the name happens to be Paul Bowman. An address, let's say number one, Kuwaiti close. And telephone number there. Now, the book you want to borrow, we can just click on maybe Cinderella. There we go. And all of the necessary information are included there. We can also add this information or those information to our spreadsheet here or database and and if you like you can reset or exit delete content or add more information so what I'm gonna do now is to take you guys straight into Python development environment and we'll put one of these advanced tutorial together so let's do that now guys reset and exit and welcome to Python tutorial now we start by importing as follows and right there we save from Tkinter import all enter a star there and import as follows and the next thing we want to do is to define our class and I'm going to call that class library there we go and the next thing is to define our function um, for my function I'll just enter let's say define as follows let's initialize it first and say self comma root and that is the beginning of my function so I'm going to say self is self is dot root equals root and let's ask root to have as follows so I'm going to enter root dot title I'll make my title let's call it library management system okay I'll close that and then this is self dot geometry it's going to be as follows for my re uh, resolution I'm going to enter 1350 by 750 plus 0 plus 0 and just close that up there and I will also add maybe I should add a background color let's say self.config or uh, configure and I'll just make that background and I want to change the background as I, as I go on anyway the choice is yours the powder blue there so let's look that up and close that okay yeah before I continue I'm just going to run it all up let's close the whole system here then we can continue with our program so I'm going to enter in there if underscore underscore name underscore underscore equals underscore underscore main let's get rid of that I was supposed to be space in there and underscore underscore then we need a column there there we go 
you know, root equals tk. Now my application is going to be application equals library library root and just run it up root dot main so that it can loop right that's my form oh that is my system initialized so I'm gonna save it I'm gonna go to file save that then I'll continue with the development of the interface there we go let's give it a name and let me locate where I intend to save my work right there somewhere yeah and let me go into library I have a folder for library yeah I just put an S to it there and save that good now the next thing is let me try this out and see how it looks like then we take it from there I just click on run and run the model there we go there it's just a big blue form there so let's close that now the next thing I would like to do I'm going to define as follows let that be my it's going to be for the framework so come down here I'm going to call it bin frame equals frame and that's going to be self self let's copy that then self dot root there we go that's the main frame and this main frame let me run the top dot grid there so this frame should be run the whole interface that you guys saw earlier inside this main frame I'm going to create some other frames so the first one come down here paste that there I'm going to call that title frame and this will come title frame as well And title frame is right inside main frame. So let's copy that and that's going to be main frame here. The size of my title frame is let's say width equals okay. I'm gonna go for 350 as well. And let's get it parted to about about 20 and put a border of about 20 to 8 and raise it area there EF equals all right read it and close that so let me say side okay I'm gonna pack that if I pack it I'll be able to get the rest in okay let's pack that and just say side is going to be right at the top okay that is fine and inside this I might as well create an object let's say self dot lbl title equals label and and there so let's speed that up anyway for the rest of the frames there we go those are all the frames in place let's move this up so that you can see it and put a space in there those are all my frames so have a good look at it i'm going to run it now then you see what i'm talking about and these are the frames with labels so let's run that you see how it looks like there we go this is how the frames look like and those are the title frames okay 
so with that i'm going to call it the end of the very first part of this tutorial and i'll see you guys shortly